don't think I can And the couch has got me now Yeah, the couch has got me now It's a slow and heavy current I'm not fighting it somehow This piece is in my bones A weight I'm glad to keep The long and final surrender the slow You ever wonder what gives certain cannabis strains that really funky, gassy, almost skunky smell? For the longest time, we thought we had it all figured out, but it turns out there's a surprising new ingredient in the mix. So let's dive into the wild science behind cannabis's most powerful smells. A tire fire in a lemon grove. I mean, wow, what a description, right? But it perfectly captures this very specific and very sought after aroma. And I promise you, by the end of this, you'll know exactly what that means and why it matters so much. All right, so before we get to the new stuff, we've got to take a step back and look at what we thought we knew. The whole foundation for understanding this stuff has always been a concept called the entourage effect. For years, the science was all about this dance between two main partners. You had cannabinoids, like THC, that's the stuff giving you the main psychoactive effects, and then you had terpenes. Those are the aromatic oils that make strains smell citrusy or piney or kind of floral. The theory was that these two things working together created the whole experience. That was the accepted wisdom. But here's the thing. That picture, it wasn't complete. Not by a long shot. A new revelation has uncovered a crucial missing piece of the puzzle, a key ingredient that's responsible for some of the most intense and desirable aromas out there. Because the old theory had this big, gaping hole in it. Sure, it could explain why a strain smelled like lemons or pine, but it couldn't really explain those aggressive, fuel-like smells. What was creating that signature gas or that skunk aroma? And the answer, the main character of our story today, is this. Volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs for short. Yeah, sulfur. We're talking about the same family of compounds that give things like garlic and onions that sharp, pungent kick. And as it turns out, they play an absolutely massive role in cannabis, too. And this is where things get really, really cool. VSEs don't just add their own smell to the mix. No, no. They perform what the source material calls an alchemical transformation. They literally change the terpenes that are already there, creating totally new smells. Okay, let me break this down for you, because this is a key. Take a really common terpene like limonene. On its own, it's just, you know, a nice, sweet citrus smell. Pleasant. But then, you introduce these volatile sulfur compounds, and bam! That sweet lemon scent gets twisted into that aggressive, sharp petroleum aroma that defines strains like sour diesel. This is how you get from a simple lemon grove to a full-on tire fire in that lemon grove. And it's not just about that gassy smell, either. The same kind of magic happens with other compounds, too. For example, when VSCs get together with another compound, an indole called scattle, it can create that weirdly savory, chemical, or mothball kind of funk that you find in those exotic strains like GML. It's a whole other level of aroma. But here's the real kicker. This isn't just about how it smells. The presence of these sulfur compounds might actually be a prophecy of potency. It could be signaling something much, much deeper about the plant's effects. You know, there's this old saying, and the source material quotes it perfectly. The skunkier the bud, the more potent the ascension. People have known this for years, this connection between those funky smells and a stronger experience. And now, the science is finally starting to catch up and explain why that is. So the theory is that these VSCs are like powerful messengers. They might actually be boosting the entourage effect, making the whole experience more intense. So when you smell that pungent funk, it isn't just an aroma. It's a signal. It's like a big flashing sign telling you that this plant has reached its absolute peak potential. So how do we pull all of this together into one big idea? Well, the source material offers this beautiful analogy that it calls the divine symphony, and it gives us a totally new way to think about the entire experience. First up, you've got the terpenes. Think of them as the melody of the song. They're the bright, pleasant high notes, the hymns of citrus, pine, and flowers. They're lovely on their own, for sure, but they're only part of the music. And then you have the volatile sulfur compounds, the VSCs. This is the heavy bass and the drums. This is the deep, rhythmic, powerful low end. It's the thunder that provides the structure, the depth, the part that you can literally feel in your chest. 
And when you combine them, when that melody of the terpenes meets that heavy bass line of the VSCs, you don't just get two separate sounds playing at once, you get the whole song. A loud, immersive, divine symphony that creates what the source calls the sacred stink. It's that full combination that delivers the complete powerful experience. And that just leaves us with this one kind of mind-blowing thought. We've just discovered the bass section in this incredible orchestra. So it really makes you wonder, right? If sulfur is the bass, what other instruments, what other strange and wonderful compounds are still waiting in the wings, ready for us to finally discover them? The science on this is really just getting started. What was I? 